Hey everyone, this is Dhruvin and I welcome you all to my new Power BI Embedded step by step series. You are watching 6th part of this series and in this session I am going to discuss about how we can register Power BI app in Azure AD for Power BI Embedded. So now let's get started. In our earlier sessions, we have discussed about how we can get started with Power BI Embedded. We have discussed about the prerequisite, licensing, as well as different types of authentication mechanism. Now, the very first step is that we need to register our Power BI application into Azure AD. Now, how to get started with that process? Let me explain you that thing over here. Before we get started, let me talk about one important thing. During this video, I am going to explain about common step of app registration in Azure AD. Now, once we register the app, we need to provide some permissions to our app. That is different for app's own data concept as well as user owns data concept. As well as it is different by authentication mechanism as well. It is somewhat different for service principal and somewhat different for master account. So we will be talking more about that thing in the later of this session. But first, let's get started how to register the app in the Azure AD. First of all, open your Azure portal using portal.azure.com. Then click on the menu icon. Make sure that you have active subscription for Azure portal as well as you have the global administrator right in your Azure portal. Now. Let's say for an example, what I'm going to do here is I'm clicking on Azure Active Directory option from this menu. So let's click on that. So that will open this type of screen for us. Now from the left navigation, we need to click on App Registration. So make sure that you click on App Registration. So that will open a new page for your App Registration. Now we need to click on New Registration. Let's click on that. And now we need to provide the name for our app. So let's say I'm just providing my application name as. So I just give the app name as Dave PBI Embedded Apps on Data Concept for Service Principal. You can give any random name over here that will work. Now in supported account type, let's select accounts in any organizational directory, meaning multi tenant. And then Redirect URI is something which is optional. So let's keep that as it is. And now let's click on register. So it is registering our application. So you can see that my application has been registered successfully. Now, once we register our Power BI application, we need to provide permissions to our application. So for that, we just need to go to API permissions over here. Now in API permission, we need to add few permissions over here. Now this permission adding procedure is somewhat different based on the authentication mechanism. For this particular video, I am going to take an example of service principal as authentication and we are going to use app zone concept. So we are going to register our application for app zone concept and service principal as authentication mechanism. So I am going to show you those steps over here. For master account i will show the separate step in the eighth part of this series and similar way for user owns concept i will provide the steps in the ninth part of this series right so now we are registering this app only for apps own concept for service principal authentication so make sure about that thing so now what we need to do here is we need to add a permission so just click on add permissions now for service principal, we need to add Power BI service API permission. So make sure that you select Power BI service from here. And now you need to select application permission. You do not need to add any delegate permission for service principal for app zone concept. So just click on application permission. And now from here, let's select both of this permission over here, which is tenant.read.all and tenant.readwrite.all. And now let's click on add permissions. So we have added those permission here. Now what we need to do here is we need to grant admin consent for this application. 
in order to do that what we need to do here is we just need to click on grant admin consent for dsha 27 so let's click on that and now it will ask a pop-up and let's click on yes so it will grant consent and once the consent is granted successfully it will show this green symbols to us over here like granted for dsha 27 right so the api permission has been granted successfully over here now what is the next step now for service principal we need to generate client secret for that we need to go to the certificate and secret tabs and now over here we have an option client secret so we just need to click on new client secret so here we just need to select the expiration for the client secret so i am just selecting never at this moment and now i am clicking on add so that will generate the client secret for me now let me copy its value from here so this is the value for my client secret so let's copy our value from here and let's paste to one of the notepad file we will going to use this particular client secret in the next part of this series so i just open this thing and now i am pasting my client secret over here and that will look like this so this is the value for my client secret now we also need to consider few things in our mind while we are registering this app for service principal for app owns concept so go to overview tab again now the question arise in your mind that what is your service principal so the apps display name is considered as your service principal so you just need to copy this and you just need to paste that so that is the name of your service principal so let's copy that and paste it over here in the notepad so this is the name of the service principal now we need to copy few more thing we need to copy this client id meaning app id so it is called as app id or let's say client id so let's copy and paste this because we are going to use this into next session so this is my app id similar way we need to copy the tenant id as well so let's copy this tenant id right so whatever the information that we do need for service principal authentication we just make a track of that so this is how we can register our power bi application for apps own concept with service principal as authentication mechanism hope so far you are good with me if you have any question related to this topic you can add your question in the comment section now in the next session we will be discussing about how we can embed power bi reports with service principal using asp.net sdk so stay tuned with my next session if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel i am uploading new video related power bi power apps power automate power virtual agents teams and sharepoint every day on my youtube channel so make sure that you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel stay connected with me on facebook linkedin and twitter also if you wish to receive the daily notification about all my new videos on your whatsapp number just click on this link it will be redirecting you to this form fill the form and you will be receiving daily notification about all my new videos on your whatsapp number also if you wish to listen different power platform related podcast just click on this link it will be redirecting you to my podcast home page from here you can listen your favorite power platform related podcast on your favorite podcast platform like google podcast apple podcast spotify and much more this is truvin signing off see you in the next session have a great day goodbye